welcome to my channel this is Amy today I'm going to do just a very unique fan brush style floral arrangement I guess it's very unique I just felt kind of I don't know whimsical today and thought you know what why not why not just create something fun so that's what I'm going to do today all right going to be using an A Magic flat brush. It's a number eight. A very old fan brush. It's a plaid one stroke brush. Number, if I can read this, 1196 is the number on it. Not even sure if they still make them. So if you have a fan brush, just use what, what you have. Fine liner by Westonia and a Deerfoot stippler, number eight. All the products will be listed down below. If you want to purchase through the affiliate links, you are welcome to do so. Paint I use is always folk art paint, unless I you know, mention otherwise, but that's what I typically use on glass. Using autumn leaves, thicket, it's got some on me, magenta, wicker white, and light lavender mixture of enamels and multi-surface paint all right so the first thing i'm going to do is take my fan brush now you can do it one of two ways you can do just individual colors you can go ahead and stick the brush in i am not particular about how i load my brushes so i'm just going to dab a little bit of each color and go so with this design I am just simply pushing down. I'm going to just create kind of a circle in a sense, but I am just whimsically pressing it down and creating a little bit of an opening. I want to have kind of towards the center, but not specifically, doesn't have to be right in the center. But just pressing down, adding some color. Just keep loading my brush. And I just I'm just dipping, dipping the brush into the colors, pressing down and going. So again, it's just very, very loose. And just a whimsical design. Not to be practical, it's not meant to be. It's just meant to be colorful, somewhat, and fun. You know, sometimes you just have those days where it just kind of hits you. I don't want to do anything real difficult. I just want to be fun, light, and easy. And that's what this is. Anybody can do these, which is why I create what I do. You know, some people do multiple layers and layers and layers and you know you got to do this you got to do that mine are very quick because I don't have patience and meant to be easy for the beginning painter and fun and if like I mentioned in many of my videos if I do something that you don't like just leave that part out use your own thoughts when it comes to being creative and do what resonates with you all right next thing I'm going to do is come here with my Deerfoot stippler going to come into the autumn leaves and I am just filling this paintbrush with paint Okay, sorry, hit the camera there. And I'm just going to come in here and just randomly dot in a center. I don't want it to be that it's covering the whole center up. The gloss needs to peek through. That's exactly how I want it. All right, going to go in with the fine liner. I'm going to do the wicker white and the thicket. Now you can come through here, add your stems. I'm going to make it like there's stems for each flower. 
and they're just coming through just like this. I'm adding the white so you can see it since the glass is dark. But you can add more green to it. You can do yellows, browns, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. But I'm just bringing it down like that. Then I'm going to come up and just kind of do some little pieces that come up away from the flowers. I don't have a whole lot of room, so I'm just going to do it a little bit here since I don't have a whole lot of room on this glass. But you get the gist, right? So then I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to take my flat brush, dip one side into one color, one side into the next. And this is for my leaves. Do some blending strokes. You can go back and forth, however you want to do it. I don't make a big deal out of loading brushes because I just don't worry about it too much. Now, when you're doing this, I'm just pressing down, kind of turning them. If you want to add like a few little leaves coming out from the actual stems, you can do that as well. Here's one of my little stems, so I'm just going to pull out from there. Come up to the top here where I have some of the other little stems coming out. I'm just sorry, there goes my air conditioner. I was hoping I'd get through this without it. Alright, so then I'm doing that. Then I'll take my liner. We're almost done. Thanks for sticking with me. And I'm gonna come through here and then just add some stems into my leaves. Kind of connect them. So it's kind of a combination of doing one stroke and just doing loose. All right, and then I could put some stems through here if I wanted, but not, or leaves, but I'm not going to. I like it how it is. All right, so it's done. Pretty darn easy. Quick, quick, quick. Minimal amount of paint, minimal amount of brushes, and you're good to go. All right, it's a fun design. If you like it, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would share this on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one. See you next time.